the geolocation services uh, enabled by the current technology that we all bring with us with our smartphones, iPads, etc., for the first time ever, allow the, the uh, use of uh, geographical information systems in order to uh, make the disinformation available all over the world. Uh, geographical information systems are uh, systems which enable to uh, put in relationship different sets of data which, has, uh, which have in common only the fact that they have the same geographical tag. Okay? Uh, in a way, it's like taking uh, different pictures at different exposure of the same place and then superimposing one to the other all these layers of information. The important thing is like uh, when you are making different photographs at different wavelengths, these layers can be of uh, any type of data you want. And by superimposing layers, you are obtaining a photograph which is uh, completely different from all the others that have generated this photograph and is giving you some information which was not there before. What is uh, also interesting is that uh, this type of uh, systems <coughs> enable you to uh, monitor uh, phenomena over time by making not only the same set of uh, photographs on a location which gives you uh, the resultancy for uh, a certain moment, but also putting in uh, sequencing and uh, confronting them different photo photographs in different times, you, so you can follow the evolution of uh, phenomena. In this case, we are following in red the evolution of uh, urban coverage on an area. The GIST workflow is uh, quite complex, but uh, very simply said. You can integrate any type of sensor of uh, data coming from uh, any type of, of uh, sensors into a database which manages them and uh, put it in, uh, at disposition of people in real time or to our mobile devices. Uh, an application of, uh, of a geographical information system is, for example, the geofencing. On geographical information systems, you can individuate areas by tracing boundaries, and uh, uh, once that you have individuated them, you can associate to the crossing of this boundary a certain action to users. So, for example, I uh, step in one of these boundaries in the real life, and the system sends me a message prompting me to make an action or an information which is associated to this area. But how all of this relates to healthcare? Uh, there are two applications of geographical information systems in healthcare. The first is geomedicine, and the second one is uh, geomarketing. Geomedicine deals with uh, the um, integration of geographical data with health conditions. For example, if you trace the places in which a person has lived into his life, and associate them, in this case, with the map of the heart attack risk subdivided per areas, uh, and uh, you are facing a patient for the first time, uh, as a physician, you can individuate a factor of risk for this person, even if uh, you don't know him, because he has lived in areas where all these factors were present and were enabling the some risk. Another application is, for example, uh, uh, tracing the spreading of an illness. By relating uh, the uh, epidemiological data with the geography, you can see in real time how certain diseases spread over uh, big regions and put them into relationship. Also follow the direction in which an illness is moving. And uh, this naturally has important application when you are speaking uh, uh, of infectious disease for a prophylaxis uh, uh, purpose. Another application is, for example, for uh, people which bring a, a healthcare related risk, like, for example, people which are prone to heart attacks. The possibility of having a, a med medical alert enabled on uh, their smartphone. So, by being aware that a certain uh, person has just pushed 
the button of the alarm. And if you're waiting in a position where it is, this system can send messages to relevant people, which are patients, caregivers, or emergency services, in order to enable a prompt uh, answer. And after that, you have a prompt answer. Geographical information system also uh, allow the possibility to see uh, at what distance the emergency service is. For example, the uh, ambulance from the place in which the uh, uh, person with the heart attack is uh, laying and can transmit information to the uh, emergency personnel telling them exactly what the condition is so they come uh, uh, prepared to the eventuality. I was uh, speaking about uh, <coughs> geomarketing, a way of using uh, uh, geographical information systems for uh, geomarketing is, for example, putting uh, in relationship with the predetermined areas the data regarding uh, the efficacy of uh, um, scientific information performed by subscribes, by visualizing the areas in which this is, uh, this, this is perceived as more or less efficacious based on, market, on qualitative market research that you perform as a marketer uh, uh, to physicians, you can derive which areas are more efficaciously covered. And for example, relating to the possibility of monitoring uh, uh, what is the direction in which uh, a disease is spreading, if we make the example of flu, and I see that uh, at a certain moment in time, there are some regions which are more interested than others by flu, I can optimize my advertising spend exactly in those regions and not making advertising all, uh, the, uh, all, all the territory without making any differentiation. Another uh, uh, application is also seeing how field force uh, is working uh, in uh, delivering messages. And the use of uh, geofencing for a promo campaign, as uh, uh, we saw before, when, uh, for example, a patient is crossing a boundary, and I have activated a campaign like uh, the dermatologist in pharmacy for you, uh, these patients can receive a message saying, on these pharmacies, which are in the area in which you have uh, just entered, there is this program which can be interested on you based on your profile. Uh, the last application that I want to show you is also the use of geographical information systems for monitoring the variations of passwords and sentiment maps. Not only we can uh, uh, understand uh, how a disease is spread by epidemiological scenario, but uh, also by analyzing the keywords that people spontaneously write on Facebook or Twitter, like flu, you can evaluate the areas in which this is happening, and also act reactively by showing selectively on uh, the profiles of people which were posting that those keywords uh, contextual advertising. This is more or less all. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. Yeah. Um, the question is about uh, when people talk about the disease, you really did just mention symptoms. Like, I got a headache, I got yeah. off. So, so, how can you connect the symptoms with the disease? Uh, naturally, when you are speaking about symptoms, it's much more difficult to derive an illness exactly. because some, some symptoms are more specific than others. But uh, if someone says, I have flu, or I have, uh, say, um, I don't know, uh, another type of, uh, of illness. This is very precise. So this is not, uh, you know, uh, a magic lamp to, uh, to which you can uh, uh, derive any type of measurement. So uh, as all the systems which are integrated with data, the more precise is uh, the sampling that you are doing, the more precise are the keywords to which you are relating in your uh, uh, search the more the uh, results uh, uh, that you get are precise. So it is depending on, on uh, choosing the right keywords in this case. Yeah. I have a, another question. So is this once again a platform that you embrace fish developed from scratch or you were 
contracted by uh, clients. So uh, our uh, current positioning, we are partnering uh, with the uh, biggest actor worldwide for geographical information systems, which is ESRI. ESRI is building any kind of GIS-related applications for any field. And uh, it is decades that this is done, uh, 10 to 15 years. For example, uh, for uh, mining, or for uh, weather forecasting, etc., etc. Uh, we are quite proud to say that we are uh, among the first ones to apply this to healthcare. So it is something which is emerging right now as a field. It is, it is very mature, but it brings uh, many possibilities to, to the healthcare. Yeah. So my question is, the, the conceptualization of, okay, there's this geolocation technology, there's a potential need in healthcare, is, was that conceptualization done? By us. You guys, yes. No, by us. So you act as a think tank. So uh, we, we act as a think tank and we act as an advisor of clients. So we have a technical partner, which is ESRI, which is providing the hardware, say. Uh, we act as an interpreter between what the client is asking. So I won't monitor this phenomenon. We say, okay, for monitoring this phenomenon, you need to select these keywords to make these steps in the <coughs> same And we translate it, because we are not only an agency, but we are also a technological company, to ESRI for their specific needs. So we are quite an interface 